Hey, how's it going? This is Brian at Awesome Collectibles and Vinyl Addicts. Just wanted to uh, post a YouTube video today and kind of go over some cleaning techniques for records, which thousands and thousands of other people have done. But I'll just uh, review something that I've been doing for years. And um, there are several different techniques. If you read online, uh, there's... Uh, some that say you should use, um, you know, soap, water mixture, you know, like Dawn uh, liquid. Uh, some say stay away from Windex and any ammonia-based product. Some say Windex is not a problem. Uh, I have uh, kind of three items I'd like to review today. And uh, there are other options also available uh, that we can talk about, but I, I don't necessarily use them. So just wanted to remind everyone, our website is awesomecef.com or vinyladdicts.com. And uh, also look at, uh, take a look at our live stream. Our live stream uh, website uh, is uh, also linked. If you go to Vinyl Addicts or Awesome CEF, we have our live stream and YouTube link there. Uh, we're also obviously on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, Tumblr also. Uh, just kind of throw that in there for measure, but really the bulk of our messages and the bulk of our communication is on Twitter. Uh, but the others I just post on occasion just in case uh, you know someone is a, a big uh, Tumblr user and they happen to run into us that way. So I have a stack of records here uh, that I'm going through and I have a few different products here that I have either used in the past or currently use. Okay. And let me, uh, we'll, we'll grab a record here in just a second, but I just want to review these items here that I have on, on the table. First of all, I have some, this non slip shelf liner. This roll right here I picked up at a, at a garage sale. I think I paid, you know, 50 cents or a dollar for it. Uh, I haven't used it yet, but I may use it, you know, for shelving or for something else in, in the future. Uh, this one I actually bought at the store, and I think it was under six bucks or so. And I actually used some of it on, on some, or in some shelves. And then I cut a piece of that, uh, this non, non-slip uh, grip. It's a shelf liner grip gripping. I basically cut it. Uh, just about the size of uh, of an album cover. Actually, I cut this one a little bit smaller. I'll, I'll probably cut another piece and use this one for 45s later on. But if you put it on a table, it it uh, amazingly it, it it sticks. I mean, if there's pressure on it, it will not move. Uh, and one both sides seem to be about the same. Obviously, over time, you know, and getting dirt and whatnot on it, you can probably clean them, but they may start to be not as effective in, in, you know, keeping or sticking in place. Uh, but that's what I use to put the actual record on. Let me grab a record that may need some help. Let's see, this is uh, the Southern Hillman Foray Band. Uh-oh, this don't look good. I mean, it don't feel good. Check this out. I've never, never even looked at this record. I can already feel there's some major issues going on with this record. Dude, that, that is some nice, nice warpage there. This is what happens when you leave your records in the car or in the garage. Um, look at this record was not even very much used. It's still got some look at that. It still has phrase of the vinyl when it was cut on the end of it. It's a immaculate record other than the big warp on one side there. Look at that indentation. That's pretty cool. Uh, I've always wondered if there's a way to get slight warps or slight uh, damage or warpage out of a record. If anyone knows of such a way of doing that, uh, contact me. I haven't tried anything. I have a few records that are just absolutely 
clean except for uh, a warp here and there that I'm afraid to do anything to it because I don't know how <clears throat> how it will damage the uh, integrity of the the grooves on the record. You know, if I if I reheat it or whatever I choose to do to to try to fix it, um, or if it's even fixable at all. So that record is going to go in the pile. That uh, will it goes in the back eventually, but I'll just set it right here for now. Let me see what else is here that's not damaged. Get it on. Let's see what's what's going on with get it on. Okay, this one's not too bad. It's dirty, obviously, but I'm looking for any major scratches or any type of heat damage of any sort. It looks okay. There's there's a there's a scuff over on this side. And it's kind of hard right there. You can kind of see it with the camera a little bit right there. Right where I'm going over, you can kind of see it right there. Otherwise, it's not too bad. So there are three methods that I've used to clean records. One is Dawn liquid and distilled water in my Fiji bottle. That was my my own solution. Just a cup, just to like a drop or two, not much. You don't need much to get the uh, get the solution just right. You don't want to put too much soap in it, otherwise you're going to have a problem. I'm trying to get that soap residue out of the or off the record. Uh, the next solution I've heard a lot. Good and bad is Windex. Of course, this has ammonia in it, and I've read some things about ammonia not being so kind to vital. I've used it before, uh, and I still use it on occasion, and I have never had an issue with it. Although I don't use a lot of it, and when I buy the container, I I empty half of the Windex into another container, and then I fill it uh, halfway with distilled water. So I so I dilute the original store-bought brand. I, I dilute it more uh, with more water, and so it's not so concentrated. And I don't spray whatever it is, whether it's water or Windex or the next item, which is a spray glass cleaner, which is ammonia-free. It's actually an alcohol-based cleaner. Uh, this is probably just, you know, obviously soap and water is probably the safest. This would be the next safest ammonia-free glass cleaner. It's a uh, foam. I'm sure, I'm sure you've used this type of cleaner before on your windows and mirrors. And then third would be the, uh, the ammonia-based Windex. Now, there are some Windex or window cleaners that are non-ammonia-based. Those are typically going to be your, um, the green, you know, the environmentally friendly uh, types. Uh, I don't know all the brands out there, but I'm sure there's there's lots of different brands that are environmentally environmentally friendly. You can find them, you know, just about any store any, anymore. So the so the arsenal is the non the non slip uh, padding shelf liner, a uh, wind Windex. Or glass cleaner, ammonia free, as it says there, it, it is alcohol based. Soap and water. These are soft. These are soft paper towels. These are more of a fiber based paper towel, not paper. I mean, there is paper in it, but it's more fiber based than it is, uh, you know, those cheap paper towels that kind of fall apart when they get wet. And then a microfiber towel. You can get those at any auto parts store or any department, any uh, major uh, superstore like Super Walmart, Super Target, and all those places. And um, and then you need your record, obviously. So I, I've already cleaned a few this morning, so I got a few uh, dirty towels here. The good thing about it is you can get these wet, and they don't fall apart, you know. So this one, this one here, I just have water only. It's just saturated with water. It's not, I, I mean, I rinsed it out, but it's wet with water. This one here I was using for cleaning, putting my either Windex, glass cleaner, 
the ammonia free glass cleaner or the, the soap and water uh, on the towel. I typically don't spray directly on the record itself because I'm just afraid that I'm going to get get the label wet and I don't want to get the label wet. So let me set my camera down here somewhere somewhat like that if it doesn't fall. Try not to let me uh, get something to put prop underneath here so it doesn't fall over. This is high tech stuff. I got a CD case over it or under it. Okay, so I got my record there and I'm just going to take this paper towel that I've been using to clean some records. I'm just going to turn it over to a new side that I haven't, haven't used yet and take some of this spray cleaner, the ammonia free spray cleaner, and spray some on here on the towel itself. Not too much, but you know, enough to get the towel wet and keep some on there so I can go all the way around the record. And I usually go in half. I do half the record, and then I'll go over and do the other half. The part that gets more tired is my, my hand. This hand right here, I seem to put a lot of pressure down and hold it because I'm not used to this non-slip. But I can actually do it without it. This non-slip, I don't even need to hold my hand on the record because uh, my pressure alone on the record cleaning it, whoops, my pressure on the on the record alone cleaning it will keep pretty much keep it in place. Sounds like the weed eater outside. I think the gardeners are out there. So I'll go around and clean clean this really, really good in the grooves. Got some, as you can see, it's really hard to tell on the camera, but there's some dirt there. And I'll take my other towel that's just wet, and I'll go over the record again. This is, you know, mainly mainly to get any of the cleaning solution residue off the record and uh, any additional dirt that I may have missed. And it usually, you know, uh, using the, 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 the wet towel afterwards, I typically see more dirt on the towel afterwards. So even though I cleaned it, there will be some more dirt that comes off of it that didn't come off in the, the, uh, the initial cleaning. So then I'll take my towel and just lightly buff it. Not a lot of pressure. I want to get some air, you know, air in there so it dries it out too. But I want to use the towel mostly to dry the, the, the moistness off the record. And that looks good. I mean, just have to, uh, you know, make sure you, you dust off. There might be a little dust that comes, or a little lint that may come off your microfiber towel. Or a little lint that may come off the paper towel. But typically, these paper towels don't shed as much as a, a typical uh, normal paper towel would. Now, this side is really dirty. Um, so let me go ahead and flip my towel over here. And spray this again one time. And go over it again. Do this side just the same. And... I don't like to get too close to the label. I get to the uh, the edge of the, the last track there. Clean that. But I try not to get the label wet because it will sometimes affect the color of the label and you can tell that it got wet at some point in its life. And that's looking pretty. Picked up a lot of dirt. And go with the wet towel afterwards. Flip it over. And you can kind of just go with the grooves. Paper towel, you, can, you know it's in the grooves because it kind of, it wants to, when you, when you push it, it just wants to go with the grooves. It doesn't slide off the edge or it just wants to go around with the grooves. So you know you're in there getting those grooves cleaned out. Then take the microfiber towel. I just kind of hold it loosely. This side had a scratch on it, so I'm not sure how well it's going to play. But I will test. I will test it out. See how it works. But that came out really nice. But there are a couple scratches on there, a couple scuffs. Unfortunately, this side's not as bad. It has one large scuff on this side, 
but otherwise it's pretty clean, but we'll, we'll check it out later. That's it. If you have any questions, comments, anything, just go ahead and post them or go to our website, www.awesomecef.com or to vinyladdicts.com. Thanks for watching.